How's it going guys? Our Triple XC here and I hope everybody's doing okay staying at home and uh, washing your hands and whatnot uh, in these trying times. It's very important. Um, uh, I just want to give a shout out to all the healthcare workers and everybody out there doing their job, um, including my girlfriend. Uh, she works uh, as a nurse. Um, she works with babies and stuff, so she's not that exposed, but still, uh, I appreciate all those, all the things those people do. Uh, peoples those people do and uh, I hope you guys can show them some love in any way you can I uh, really appreciate that and I I'm sure the world will too uh, but anyway something uh, a little different now uh, we have uh, the Digimon uh, TCG that's coming out um, some of you know about this already some of you don't so I'm happy to introduce it to you uh, and what I did was I, I downloaded BlueStacks, and if you don't know what BlueStacks is, that's an application you can get on your computer uh, that lets you run phone uh, apps and stuff. It's, it like turns your PC into like a uh, like a Windows phone, basically, I think. I don't know. But it lets me play apps on my computer. It's kind of fun. Uh, so there's a Japanese tutorial application for who is texting me um, for the new Digimon TCG. Uh, and I kind of talked about it in a previous video, my uh, what I like, what I'm looking forward to, video. Um, and this came out after that, and it's actually really cool. Uh, it's a very good, well-made app. Uh, it's all in Japanese though, um, so I'm going to try to kind of walk you through some of the cards. I'm going to show you how to play. Um, and if you guys want more content from this, there's three, there's three decks as you can see here that I can like play with. Uh, and I can show you each one. Uh, I'm just going to do the red deck right now, which is like Agumon, Greymon, and all those guys. Um, if y'all are fans of Digimon, uh, post in the comments. Uh, I'm I'm rekindling my Digimon fire uh, since the uh, anime is getting dropped now. Uh, they're kind of like rehashing it, and it's actually a really good. Episode 2 came out yesterday at the time of me recording this. Um, so check that out too. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, but let's get started. This is the red deck. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you through it. So basically, since we have the cards on the screen, uh, the cost of the cards, uh, the big number up in the top left here is what it costs to just drop the card down and play it. Um, but the lower number under it is what it costs to evolve. So what you want to be doing in this game is evolving as much as you can. Uh, when needed, obviously, uh, because evolving also lets you draw a card. So every time you evolve a Digimon, you get to draw a card. Uh, and that's kind of like how you keep yourself rolling. Um, and then the energy mechanic in this game is actually really interesting. It's based off of Chrono Clash. The whole game is based off of Chrono Clash. Um, but there are some differences that I'm sure if you know what Chrono Clash is, you will see here. So, um, as you can see, really well made simulator here. I wish we could get something like this for Bakugan one day. Uh, I know some guys are working on it. They actually just had a stream about it. Um, but let's see. I don't know English or not. Okay, so basically this little deck that he's playing on top of right now is the raising area. And the raising area is where you hatch a digi egg. Uh, and once per turn, you can evolve that digi egg or bring it out onto the field. So basically the way to think about this is, so I'm going to hatch my Koromon here. Um... Uh, this is all tutorial messages and stuff. Uh, I'm going to hatch my Koromon here, and it's a level 2 Digimon. Don't ask me why they don't start at 1. I don't know, because the eggs are 1, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but um, So I hatch my Koromon, um, and I actually have a crappy hand here, uh, but it's a level 2. So I can evolve to this uh, Piamon, I think that's her name, uh, which is a level 3. You can see it at the top there, and if I drop it on top of the Koromon, it will be for 0 to evolve, which is actually really nice. So, these level 3 Digimon, as you can see, to evolve them up is zero uh, cost. The cost is in the middle of the field here, and as you can see, it's flashing on the 2. So, I have 2 points uh, to spend uh, on my card stuff. Now, the thing is, I can spend whatever I want as long as it stays in this dial. So, right now, I can spend 12. So, I could drop this War Greymon right now, uh, and it would end my turn. But then, my opponent would have... 10 energy to deal with so you control your opponent's energy if you pass a turn and don't have anything else and you still have energy they automatically get three uh, i know a lot of people kind of had that question at first including me um but yeah other than that it's really fun uh you have blockers they're very important so uh this is um Kordramon, maybe forgot his name uh but this basically says blocker right here if you have the uh Google Translate app, you can hover over right now. I've been using that with this game. Uh, but this is Blocker, so basically I have my point total over here. It's five. We both start out with five. If I attack you directly, I knock out a card. 
automatically. You automatically knock out a card. But um, if you flip it over and it's a Digimon, I have to battle that Digimon. You still lose it no matter what. But if you are higher than me, I lose what I attacked with. Um, so it's a quick game. It's very quick. I'm talking over it right now, but it, it, it's a quick moving game. So I've all my Piamon. Um, I could go up to a level four here for two. My turn would still be on my turn here. Zero is still my turn. All right, so Bergermon is out. So this card gives um, my one one Digimon I have 3,000 B power. B power. Oops. <laughs> uh, 3,000 power. Uh, it's just a basic buff. This one gives my Digimon that I flip from my stack plus 7,000. So it's basically like if you attack me next turn you're probably not going to survive. So you, you need to attack me with something either really big or something you don't mind losing. Uh, and I really like this card, especially when I'm trying to build up my field uh, just to kind of keep them from doing anything. But if I have a blocker in my hand on the first turn, I normally drop it. Um, I don't know what that says. Uh, they have summoning sickness and stuff, but I'm pretty sure I can block. Um, I've only been playing for a little while. So let's see what he does. So that is a tamer card that he just played. It's one of the characters hero card from Bakugan, like we know. Um, this is my raising phase. Uh, and basically, uh, this one says if I have something on the field without an evolution source under it, so I didn't evolve it, I just dropped it, and he gets an extra energy uh, for the turn. Uh, and it's it's okay. Um, I'm going to bring up my Bergamon. So my raising phase, again, I can evolve or bring up what I've been raising. And basically, it keeps them from being destroyed or anything. They're in a safe area down there. All right, so what did I draw? I drew a Metal Greymon. Uh, which I can go, he gave me three, so I can actually evolve this and be clear. Metal Greymon's pretty good. 7,000, not bad. I wish I had my tie, uh, which is my um, my hero card, uh, tamer card as they call them here. Uh, the blockers are interesting because you have to pay two to attack with them. That's because, as you can see, this is a level five and this is a level four, and they're very close in damage um, because... The uh, the blockers are a little more powerful so that you can actually use them to block up to level fives, basically, is what you're trying to do. Um, and since I'm kind of in a weird spot, I'm going to... And you can do phases at any point in time. Obviously, you draw and tame and uh, raising phase first, but I can attack, play a card, attack, play a card, attack, play a card if I wanted to. So I'm going to attack him with my Metal Greymon. Uh, and I hit this uh, ability card, and the ability cards, as you see on the bottom, uh, they have this little message here. Um, that tells me uh, that uh, when I flip it from my uh, stack, is everybody, what's everybody's calling it, uh, it gets an effect. Normally they just say, play the card, you get the effect that's on the card. So uh, the one he just played stopped me from attacking and blocking here till my next turn. Uh, so I can't block next this coming up turn, which kind of sucks. Uh, and I also can't attack right now. So doing that, I'm going to do this card, which, again, uh, buffs up my stack. So if he attacks me, he's probably going to go down, hopefully. 7,000 is a lot. <laughs> it's like a lot in this game so far. These are uh, cut-down versions of the starter decks that are being released in Japan. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy. So he's going to hit me because, again, so I jumped up to 12,000 there. <laughs> Because of that card. Uh, and so because of that, he's going to drop down his Wergarurumon here. And that's going to bring me all the way up to 7 energy. So I might be able to have some fun here. Um, I can't evolve my Koromon because you have to go up to level 3. So that kind of sucks. But I can play some cards here. I have 7 energy to work with. Um, so I can actually evolve all the way up to a Wargreymon for 4. Which is very good. Uh, Wargreymon says for each two evolution sources under him I get double strike which or, uh, I forgot what they call it in this game but I can attack two uh, of his damage cards and there's my Tai Chi so I can actually play this which gives me a thousand for all my Digimon for the turn let me make sure I don't want to play anything else here um, I got a level four so I can go to this and get rid of my blocker I can go really aggressive here actually I could go to this Maybe. No. I kind of want to get rid of his Wargarurumon because it can. It, that Wargarurumon can mess up my Wargreymon here. Let's attack with. Oh, wait. 
he can't kill me with anything here. So let's do this. I'll attack him for one. Hit that. Definitely kill it. Should attack another one. Yep. So he gets another one of these because it lets him play it for free. Uh, but oh, I get I get another security attack. So I actually go for three there. War Greymon is incredible. He's very busted. If you can get him out all the way with all the evolutions on it, it's nuts. Um, so I don't think he's going to be able to do anything to me next turn. So I think I'm just going to attack. If I attack with my blocker again, I play two. Um, but I'm still going to hit his stack. Okay, get rid of that. Doesn't kill me either, so I'm actually still good. Uh, but I can't block. But there's no way he's going to be able to get me down four. You have to. He's at zero right now. You have to attack down. Kind of like Bakugan, you have to hit one more than the than the stack. So if I attack him directly, he now loses. So he's going to hit me here. Boom. This plays itself, I believe. And now this is going to die because this gets the boost, I believe. Yeah, there's the 7,000. Boom. That's down. And now he's got his War Guru room on, but it's too late for him. So don't worry about that. I'm just going to come to my turn now. Um, and win the game, basically. So he's getting buffs from his inheritable skills, which I guess I didn't really talk about. Um, when you evolve, some of the Digimon have skills on them that go up to the next level. Uh, and why won't it let me... Oh, I don't have enough energy. All right, cool. So he left me with one, but that's fine because I'm just going to hit him for a lot right here. So, uh, yeah. So that is the new Digimon uh, card game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And this is a quick little look at it. Um, if you want, I can do a longer gameplay. Again, there's the blue deck and the yellow deck that I can show off. Uh, play a little different play style you kind of saw over there. Uh, blue is kind of more uh, me stopping you from attacking, um, uh, taking away your evolution sources. That's why I was saying the War Guru Rumon could actually uh, swipe a source uh, from my uh, War Greymon if he had the Guru, the Gabumon under him. A uh, bunch of different stuff. So it's really interesting, intricate game so far. It's really quick, really fast paced. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't think it's like the best game in the world, but I do find it very enjoyable, especially with his app. I think it's actually really cool. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, they got some really cool Bakugan stuff on the channel coming up here soon. Uh, I'm actually planning it out with a bunch of people right now. Uh, and by the time this goes up, you might hear about it. If not, uh, I'm going to have a big video on my channel about it. Uh, it should be really fun and it'll keep us all busy at home. So stay safe, wash your hands. Uh, just, just, be the best you. How about that? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.